manufacturing is more than just data science. It's about the actual implementation. So I often use a term called AI for AI, artificial intelligence for actual implementation in manufacturing. If you look at what we do today in many industries, you use technologies like automation, intelligent system to make products. But there are a lot of gaps. The gaps could be inventory, the waste, a lot of labor costs, and also quality issues. Those are common. So I think the future manufacturing will be how these gaps can be physically reduced or removed. That can make the manufacturing even more attractive for young people. And also, it's a very meaningful for the future. Technology always evolves over a different period. The good AI technology to solve those high complex problems, for example, optimization, scheduling, diagnostics, prediction, those can be great tools. But every company have a different type of problems. They need to define a good purpose. That's why the Global Lighthouse Network, we often talk about change story. What's your change story? Why you change? Just because of 5G, because of AI? Probably not. I want to improve the quality of my product. I want to increase the efficiency of my production. I want to integrate my supplier's capability into my manufacturing system to help more a leaner, more advanced solution. So I think those are the very important things. So we need to define the right purpose. If those are clear, I think the high tech, hard tech, or good tech, they can make things happen. If objective are not clear, that's only become a demonstration. I mean, it's also good, but probably the ROI may not have high return, yes. How can you help the current workforce to use the right technology and tools? I think to teach them, I think to empower them is more important, right? So as academia, we need to, first, the test technology faster. Second, we teach younger generation, even the new technology to meet the demand of a society. The third, university, we can make mistakes first. That will give a industry and other partners the opportunity to learn for the correct way. If you look at the future, how we make this whole thing well addressed, smart digital technology, quantum AI, 5G, for example, should make things transparent, traceable, and transferable. But first, we have to find the right purpose. I think industry will have many problems. But once the purpose is clear, we can use technology to fill the process gap. If we can use the technology to fill those gaps, then these are good technology. They may not be high tech, but they are good tech.